All right, my friends, it's Coach Vig. This is a seated Pilates workout, great for men, women, everyone, part of my 30-day Pilates challenge. Bookmark that. It's in the About section below, as well as my 30-day Power Yoga challenge. These two challenges are all body weight. They are groundbreaking. They are total body conditioning challenges. So jump on those today. And filming at Nick's Pro Fitness today. It was thundering and storming outside. So here we are. But all we need is a mat, a place to work out, and we can create an entire, an entire total body workout. Shake it out, warm up before the workout if you wish, and modify anytime you need to. Let's just keep on flowing, focusing on breathing in the nose and out the mouth with good posture, good alignment. And a whole lot of breath. The boat 100. Come to half boat pose. Arms forward. Palms down. Just the cap. Breathing in for five counts. And exhaling for five counts with the pulsing of the arms. If you wish, you can extend the legs out for five. And bring them in for five. Always a delicious challenge to line that up to get the rhythm going of this exercise. While we're breathing. While we're balancing in the half boat and keeping our jaw relaxed and our shoulders down as we pump the arms. As I said, during this workout, we're gonna work everything from a seated position predominantly. Now slow it down those last couple of sets, but we wanna exercise total control and concentration. Do it again once more. Five pulses out, five pulses back in. Hold the half boat, shoulders down. And extend out going into the saw, my dad's favorite exercise. Legs wide, twist, two pulses. Let the pinky finger slice the pinky toe. Graphic yet effective. Big twist on the center. Exhale, exhale, inhale to the center and to the other side. Think of pulling the belly button into the spine as you extend forward and looking to your back arm. We're doing 10 repetitions of this one. I'm spitting all over the mic. Uh, let me calm down. <laughs> Good. Back and forth. Going a little further with each and every repetition. Good. Finish that last one. Then we go into the seated twist. Bring the legs together. Draw the toes towards you. Ten repetitions. Shoulders down. Palms forward. Pulse, pulse. Back to center. So we exhale. Exhale, inhale, snap it back. Second exhale takes us all the way into that twist, maintaining good posture, meaning your shoulders are back and down, your chest is open. If you feel tight, bend your knees. Exhale through the mouth, inhale through the nose. Connecting all of these beautiful exercises together. Okay, half boat action for a moment. Stabilize, balance. Extend the legs all the way out if you wish. Take a couple deep breaths into your abdominals. And now a little rowing series, R-O-W-I-N-G, rowing from the hips, six repetitions, legs together, toes towards you, shoulders back and down, exhale, sweep forward, inhale, grab those abs and lift up tall, exhale, cactus arms, take a prep here, a breath, and exhale forward again, lift, exhale, great for gathering a lot of energy as we open up the posture, shoulders back and down, I love Shoulder rolls. I'm a stickler for shoulder rolls. I'm doing them right now as I'm speaking to keep our breath open. Three more times. Sweep it forward. Tuck the chin. Lead through the crown of the head. Inhale. Lift and pull. Working through that range of motion and always expanding. Expanding with every breath. We don't want to miss a single opportunity. And open. Think of someone drawing your elbows back. Okay, fix the pockets. You don't want those pockets to be out. Trouble. Shoulders back and down. All right, let's flow it into rowing from the Lilith sternum. Fists. Bring the fists together. We're going to exhale. Tuck the chin round the back as you go down about halfway. Squeeze the legs. Inhale, lift up tall. Exhale. Bring the arms behind. You can reach them behind you or if you're able, lace the fingers. Inhale, prep. Exhale, up and over, grabbing the toes, feet, or ankles. 
So it's a very fluid movement. Let's do it again. We're doing six repetitions. Tuck the chin, rounding the back like you have a hump on your back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, really sweep the arms back. I just taught this exercise, this whole series actually this morning at Nick's in class. And it is massive for the whole body, but especially shoulder mobility and movement, really waking up the shoulders four more times. And it's very deceptive, these rowing exercises. They might not feel like much the first couple of reps, and all of a sudden you realize how much your body has heated up, how much the blood is flowing, and how much attention to absolutely every detail we are doing. Again, fix that blouse and bring it back, belly button to spine, stretching the spine. Big lift, a little more each time. We are greedy, my friend. We want more and more out of our flows, out of our workouts. We want to see how far we can go for the optimal health and fitness. Good, a little shake in the legs. Tuck the chin. Back we go. Lift and lengthen. If you want, bring the palms together in that mudra, in that bind behind you. Good, extra stretch. I can't help myself. I'm grabbing a little bit more. Two more times. Good, tuck, squeeze. You'll find your body adapts very quickly to these exercises. And my experience is I want more and more while I'm doing them. My body gets stronger. It gets more resilient. It heats up. It wants to experience more. And we do that in real time. In the moment, a couple shoulder rolls, bring it back. Lift, very strong. I'm slowing it down a bit. Think that you're moving underwater. I made a face. That is a technical Pilates face. It took three years to perfect. Forward and stretch. Take an extra breath here. Rock it side to side. No sense in freezing ourselves up. We want to be loose and limber. Now the next one. Rowing, this is rowing 90 degrees, six repetitions. Fists, arms 90 degrees, and let's bring it back. This time, not tucking the chin. Think of your core as a block of granite, and now we explode forward. There's that mudra stretch, and then up and over. I can't wait to hear what you think about these this flow, especially these rowing exercises, what it's going to do to your shoulders and your chest. There we are. Palms together if you wish. Tuck that chin and then sweep forward. Visualize it and then do it. Back. Further each time. In real time, getting stronger, more resilient. There it is. I've noticed when I was doing this, my shoulders really took a turn for the better. With every repetition, I was able to bring the arms back a little bit further. All right, three more. Back, back, let your body shake, let your muscles be taxed, and then sweep. There we are. It's just magnificent that we're able to do these exercises together. Build that strong, functional body together. Two more repetitions. Further, we shake. And then it's worth it for this big sweep forward. And keep that chin tucked. We don't want to kink the back of the neck as we go forward. Okay. Parting is such sweet sorrow. But we shall do one more. Back. Give the arms a nice flex. Don't pass the opportunity to squeeze the shoulders and the arms. Forward, arms back, palms together this time for me, maybe for you. Good, practicing, practicing, getting every nuance down and then opening up whole new doors of flows and movements. Good, take a couple breaths here. You can hold that stretch. We're moving into the Wide-legged spine stretch, or spine stretch wide. <laughs> Six repetitions. Take the legs out, draw the toes towards you. Again, shoulders back and down. Chest open, fingers on the mat. Exhale, sweep forward. Long stretch, tuck the chin. 
Inhale, rise up, roll the shoulders back and down. Very important. Want to keep that back bend in there. Sweep. Exhale through the mouth forward. Exhaust every drop of breath from the lungs. And then inhale, fill the tank. Let it overflow the front, the sides, and the back. Jaw is relaxed. Forward. Hinging. Inhale, lift. It's very easy to become lost in these stretches. Take the hands behind you, a little extra back bend. Lengthening the spine. Inhale, rising back up. Shoulders back and down. Hands behind you if you like. Extra lift. Uh, he said two more times. Let's do two more. Exhale, sweep. Notice that each time, get, get that mat out of there. Each time you do it, you're going to sweep forward a little bit more. You're going to sit a little taller. You are going to experience the improvement immediately. All right, let's make this one a big one here. Exhale. Don't come back up until every single molecule and atom of breath is gone from the lungs. We rise up. Shoulders back down. Lift. Okay, glancing at the notes. <laughs> There we are. Shake it out. Shake out the legs. Push those pockets in the wide roll up with mudra. Six repetitions. So feet outside edges of the mat. Adding the roll up. We're going to sweep forward first. Don't count that one. There we are. There's that mudra. We're adding the roll up to this. So I want you to tuck your chin. Arms come up and round down. Either halfway down or all the way down. Massaging the spine like a wheel on the way down and the way up. We come forward and sweep it back. Again, massive, massive shoulder work here in this flow. Massage the spine. Pause for a moment, take out the momentum, and sweep it. So you and only you are in control of every single movement, top to bottom, beginning to end, in this workout. And the whole 30-day Pilates challenge. Tuck that chin. Good. Feel the groin and the psoas, the inner thighs, speaking to you. <laughs> Your body and mind have a constant, constant dialogue back and forth. Three more repetitions. It's a pick a little, talk a little dialogue all the time. You want to fuse it together, weld it, solder it together. All right, two more times, my friend. Tuck that chin, massage the spine, all those muscles the paraspinals on the sides of the spine. And sweep, breathing in the nose and out the mouth. One more time. It's a, definitely, it's a dance. It's a dance. Garth Brooks really meant Pilates when he wrote that one song. Tuck that chin, draw those toes towards you. Now bring it forward, grab the feet toes or ankles stretch rocking side to side rocking and rolling sandy there we are sorry had a little outburst i haven't quoted a movie in about 20 minutes i was going a little crazy all right my friends the reverse plank hand position as you wish underneath the shoulders and lift i point the fingers out maybe your fingers are forward maybe they're back but trial and error try it out stay lifted point the feet heels are down and head back slightly, relaxing the jaw. So we take the tension out. Each exhale, pull that belly button in tight. Sweep it forward. Nice stretch, spine stretch. Getting back bends and inversions together. All right. Let's add a little stretch here. Leg hug with weird smile. Is that what? That's what's written there. Okay. Let's see if this weird smile comes out. You're going to grab underneath the leg and rock side to side. There is always, always, always time. There's a smile. I don't know if it's weird. There's always time for flexibility training and stretching. We are doing it every second in this workout, and we take interludes to keep our body as limber as possible. Think it about it as being adaptable, ready to adapt to whichever sport or activity you love to do, no matter how many. Good. Switching the legs, rocking side to side. Legs down. Reverse plank with leg lifts. It's a 
Joseph Pilates Classic. 14 repetitions. Lift up. Hold the plank or add the leg lifts. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. 14 times. A challenge when doing this is keeping your body lifted. When that leg shoots up, our butt wants to go down. But we are constantly at war in these workouts. We are always working against gravity and keeping our whole body lifted, keeping our posture. That's what we want. Every step of the way, there is a challenge. All right, roll-ups, classics, four times. Exhale over, inhale. As you rise back up, if he ever does it, there he goes, and then down. And there we go. Take out that break in the middle. Get a nice fluid movement all the way through. Same as with our power yoga workouts we do at Sean Vig Fitness. It's always flowing. Everything is connected. I never want there to be a moment where you're not doing something totally, totally wonderful for yourself, for your mind, body, and spirit. Tuck that chin, rounding down like a wheel, as Joseph Pilates described it, and then reaching up and over the toes, belly button into the spine, all right, couple shoulder rolls in reverse plank. Mountain climbers 20 times. Fancy. Exhale, bring the knee in, inhale back. Do this or hold the reverse plank while we do it. A little cardio burst. The heart rate does go up to respond to the increased movement in the body. You're also getting a beautiful contraction in the abdominals every time the knee pulls in. All right, holding the reverse plank. Now come down. Shake everything out. We're going into the crunchy frog. Crunchy frog, 20 repetitions. So back to half boat. Adjusting the clothing and the posture. Hold the half boat. A little punch there, nice. <laughs> um, crunchy frog, inhale out, exhale in. 20 times. Extending out as much as you can with the legs. Get a nice opening in the chest. Inhale out. Exhale as you crunch back into the center. Of course, a lot of balance being worked here as well. Crunchy frog. Feel that burn. I was really feeling it. We're getting towards the end of this sequence. Back to that leg hug excitement. Who knows what I'm doing some filing down there. Okay, rocking that leg side to side. If you're into a party trick... Take the leg over the head. I'm not, I used to be able to do that, but I almost did it. Practice it a couple more times, we'll get to it. Party trick. There's spin the bottle, pin the tail on the donkey, and then there's that. All right. Something to aspire to, perhaps. Good. Rock it side to side. We want those hips to be loose, and as a result, the lower back is loose as well. A lot of stamina here. Okay, this is called camel pulses. I say ouch because I'm still feeling this. Filmed this a few days ago. Big in my hip flexors and quads. Uh, knees hip width, arms forward. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, lift. It's a very small movement, but within that small movement contains a real, real thigh and core buster. Ten repetitions. Exhale, back. Inhale, lift. I've not done these in a while, so it's very exciting to bring these back to you. And also to feel what it feels like to not do them for a while and do them again. A lot of good. There's your stability right there that we're not just falling backwards, but controlled. Okay, the guy in the cap says two more. Exhale back, inhale up in the nose and out the mouth. One more time, back a little further. We lift, and oh, do I have something special for you, even more special than those camel pulses. This is called a tendon stretch. Don't think I've ever filmed it in one of these videos before, so this is a world premiere. Ten times, hands are on the shoulders. Position the hands as you wish. You're going to exhale, lift up. Lift the glutes off the mat, point the feet, and then slide back. Slide forward again with the legs. Exhale, squeeze the abs, bring it back. If it's too much, just place your hands down, lift as much as you can. That's all you can ask and build stronger from there. Now, optional, add reverse plank. That is yummy right there. The biggest problem I have, though, is my pant leg getting caught or chafing my heels. So right from the tendon and then slide forward into that reverse plank. Massive. I mean, you're going to feel this in your forearms, shoulders, Pretty much everywhere. All right. 
and sweep it up. Everything you do, do with the best possible control and flow. <laughs> there we are. I feel like a gymnast. Excellent. I'm feeling it. All right. Shake it out. P keep those wrists nice and loose. Again, that's a big wrist. That's a lot of pressure on the wrists and the forearms. Boat twist, also called the stomach massage in Pilates circles 20 times. Coming to half boat pose. If it's too much, hold the half boat. Leave out the twist. If not, you're going to exhale and twist to the side. Extend. Back and forth. It's much better to, to do this barefoot. I do a lot with shoes on, and it is, it is excruciating, especially towards the end of the workout. When we have been hammering ourselves for 20 straight minutes with no breaks. Let's finish off those last 10, my friend. Exhale as you twist. Inhale back to the center. Ah, so excited. <laughs> so I hope you are too. This movement brings out the best in me. My mood, my focus, my endurance, my flexibility, all these wonderful things. All right, we have conquered. Conquered. This workout, let's do a couple stretches here that calls for the cap switch. Come to upward facing dog. Great way to really stretch out our abdominals. And while we're doing this, remember, join my 30-day Pilates challenge. The link is down below. Also, my 30-day power yoga challenge. Both of them are down below. Get on those challenges. Always keep me posted. Do them every day. They're all body weight. They are free, and they are life-changing. Okay, pressing back. Child's pose. Let's give that spine a nice stretch. Take some deep breaths. If you really enjoyed this workout, please check in. Subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. It is a pleasure, my friend. Thank you for training with me. And to take this training into book format, next time you're at Barnes & Noble, pick this book up. On my best-selling book, Power Yoga for Athletes, over 100 yoga poses for all ages and fitness levels, as well as 25 complete yoga flows and training logs for all the major sports. Get your copy today, or perhaps you do better with four copies.